a very special new yacht here at the Can Boat Show. Look at me and the surrounding saloon here. How large do you think this yacht is? You're wrong. It's much smaller. This is only 70 feet. This is the first I-70. It's the first of three new I-70s. And it's a very, very special semi-custom design, which may look and feel like a yacht 20, 20 feet larger, but it's built and designed for two people to sail it in a lot of comfort. So Thalassa 2 here is built for Bobo, the skipper here, and his owner to sail the boat two-handed essentially uh, and was a step up from from the 50 footer so coming from aft you have the normal uh, layout of a tender garage in there for a 3.3 meter tender but it's these pedestals which starts to give the game away about sailing it short-handed so you'll notice controls push button controls for all the sails and halyards the Genoa winches these ones on the outside got these two buttons for the main winch again repeated on the other side backstay the vang and the traveler which is hidden below the deck there or covered I should say just in front of the pedestals and there's also controls as well for the staysail furlan and the Genoa furler you can also control the mast winches as well from these buttons so basically from the helm you have control pretty much all the systems on the boat. You also notice there, the on this side you have the telescopic keel control. So this one, this first I-70 has a telescopic keel with hydraulics from Caraboni, which reduces the draft from 4.5 meters down to 2.8 meters. This is an Umberto Felci design like the previous ice yachts and it is a wonderfully clean aesthetic Italian design. So large social cockpit, lots of lounging space, but this here, what a brilliant feature. It's not an ungainly tack on bimini that you might see on quite a few yachts, but designed in from the beginning for this owner who likes to spend four or five hours sailing during the day in the med and then to be able to relax, read a book or whatever, under the shade. It can be taken off. It's not a quick operation, whereas the Dodger here will, the spray hood, will fold down into a recess easily in there. But yeah, I think a really nice, elegant design on the deck there. Other notable features, you see the amount of opening hatches and ventilation below decks. And the forward end of the coach roof here a hatch which lifts just to give access to service checks in the keel box there. And then the two winches I mentioned which you can control from the pedestals. And a nice flash forward deck when those hatches are closed. And then sort of standard layout these days now having a long bow roller which can take code zero and asymmetric sails with the anchor roller neatly hidden underneath it as well the below deck furler for the jib nice neat feature on this foredeck as well is the hidden windlass here which is so this is harkins clr which comes out of the deck there help you with your mooring lines and behind there's the anchor locker the windlass and then the carbon lid <laughs> the whole boat is carbon fiber to a large sail locker for your warps the code zero and the stay sail in there as well The whole ethos of ice yachts is fast and comfort. And this 70 adds a real element of luxury into that as well. Huge cockpit area, plenty of sun protection, lots of lounging space. And you duck coming under the spray hood a bit into a nice shallow descent into this really calming 
and really very luxurious interior. Designed by Umberto Felci and finished in this bare teak and burgundy leather. It really does smack of quality. And as I said before, it's a layout which you see perhaps more like on a sort of 90 footer to have this huge beam wide saloon area and TV snug area further forward of that. This first one differs because they wanted, they sail two up a lot. So it's only really got two guest cabins, which opens out this aft space a lot. So you have a small step down here into a huge galley. And the galley can easily be se separated off from the, the owner's interior with these doors and there is access, private access there when that is closed into the skipper's cabin. The galley itself, loads of space, plenty of light, big double sink, induction cooking, lots of refrigeration space dishwasher in there as well and an ice maker. And then moving through under the cockpit you've got access to machinery space here, water maker controls and into the skipper's cabin which has machinery area under here. So gen set, I believe. Yeah. And the battery charger is in there as well. And the only other thing to mention is that there is the option to have a second crew on there so that can pull out, put a mattress on there to, to form more of a Pullman style cabin. So this one has its own heads here or there is a day heads in here as well. You really have to feel the quality on these, just the weight of these doors and the thunk of them. I think that's a technical word. Now station there, so this, this area here, this seat slides over to join the saloon table which raises up and down there so you can have that bench seat next to it and have a conventional sofa berth there aft facing for the nav station desk area or it can join up as it was to form a large day bed area and then moving forward what happens is the when you choose a telescopic keel it automatically takes that central part of the accommodation layout but it's been designed in really well here you still have that sort of surround natural light through those coach roof windows and it's a small step down into what Marco Malgara the founder of Ice Yachts says is the Netflix area it's quite cool nice chill out zone before you enter the guest accommodation which on this boat sees the master cabin forward and the twin guest here right by the mast and the keel box nice place to sleep not short on teak and leather on this one but beautifully done with an ensuite there huge rainfall shower heated towel rail Yeah, very, very impressive finish quality. Ice yachts based, their yard based near Milan. Plenty of experience building yachts, 50 to 70 foot. And then look at this. Owner's cabin with its desk and large double berth forward and surround storage space plenty of natural light and two large overhead opening hatches 
as I said, the loads of stowage, berth itself lifts up. To increase that even more, and look how neatly the wardrobes have been done and the drawers. And then one of my favorite features, when you shut this big thick door, everything over engineered on this boat. So a lot more weight apparently used than on normal than these doors to make it quiet and comfortable. Oh yeah. Shower and head spot. Look at this cracking seat. I guess you'd have the tanks to be able to enjoy a shower like this on a yacht of this size. Congratulations. Very, very nice performance cruising design. So for those who wonder why you need a performance carbon fiber design such as this, here's a pretty good example. We've come out the last hour of sunlight and we're getting to sail and almost match the wind speeds really, in fact improve on them. I didn't know if there was enough wind to even sail at all but put the code zero out and here we are making eight to nine knots. Very easy, really enjoyable sailing. What's it like under here? Uh, heel? Pretty quiet. neat lead at the endless line system here to file away the code zero doing it from the uh, push button at the helm so you'll have to take my word for it that this is single figure wind speeds but i'll try and show you as well six seven knots of wind of true maybe but we have a lot of water line length here 70 feet of it umberto felci design and a big old code zero, which means that we are able to really sail the boat and enjoy sailing it in these wind speeds. So we are currently making around nine, up to nine and a half knots in around 11 knots of power. A little bit of seaway and it's really nice sailing as well for a big big large yacht you can really feel it on the helm so the nice thing is being able to easily trim the, the winches and the traveler from whilst you're helming it's a bit of a novelty actually to be able to do that very very easily solo sailing 70 footer.